Congratulations, Mr. President. With 76 days until we pick our next president, this election season has been anything but ordinary. From a candidate switch up to an attempted assassination, Americans anticipate a few more months of nonstop action. And with the increased engagement in the election, nearly 8 million newly eligible 18 and 19 year olds will be able to vote for the very first time. But, even with the ability to hit the polls, a lot of young would-be voters trend towards apathy when it comes to actually casting a ballot. And candidates on both sides of the aisle say, participating in the election process is not only easy, it's incredibly impactful. A lot of times it's as easy as checking a box when you're at the driver's license office getting your license, and you will automatically register when you turn 18. At the end of the day, I think it's the younger generations, it's the 18, 19, 20 through 25 year olds who have different thoughts, different creative views. And so the more of those people that can vote, the better off we're gonna be in the long run. While it may be a simple process, there's a bit more to it than meets the eye. First, go to vote.gov to register online, then input some basic information. Make sure you have your driver's license and social security number close by. After you input your information, confirm some basic details and agree to the voter registration pledge, You'll receive one of these voter registration cards in the mail. However, it's important to remember there is not infinite time to complete your registration. You must register to vote at least 30 days before election day, or by Sunday, October 6th, to be able to vote this November. Also, if you're not 18 yet, but will be by election day, you can still go ahead and register now. And with such low turnout among young and especially new voters, it's important to start thinking about how you can get your voice heard. I'll be back with more election updates all the way until November 5th. For CRN-TV, I'm Shane Yeoman.